Alrighty, hello, hello everyone, our first Halloween update of the year. As you can see, it's split into three parts as we kind of expected, to be fair. Anyways, part one out of three, we've got Halloween four colours. We've now got a pumpkin patch and corn maze. This looks really cool, actually. I knew there was going to be some sort of building update, and predictions were correct. So anyways, as you can see, we've got a new pumpkin patch, corn maze, new job at the pie stand. Someone actually said this in my uh, chat or something similar. Congratulations. And then we've got a Phillips event. So we partners with Phillips event on Roblox. What in the world is a Phillips event? I am, <laughs> I'm unsure. I'm unsure on what this is, but I guess let's hop into the game and check this out. We can also check out the dev forms real quick because apparently they said they fixed a lot of things. Don't mind me, I stalked the developers on the dev forms. Anyways, so we're partnering with Phillips. So, wait, what? Okay, so you can speak to the NPC barber, begin the scavenger hunt. And you find 10... Oh, no, we've got a scavenger hunt. I'm terrible with these. I'm terrible with these here. And so this is part one out of three here. So as you can see, there'll be more coming soon, I guess. You can get lost in the maze, enjoy a pumpkin pie, new roleplay job. Oh, that's cool. And we've got new jail command. And uh, lots of bug fixes as well. And if we have a look on the Trello as well, lots and lots of bug fixes on there. So let's go and hop into the game here. I'm loading the server up now. And uh, there we go. So if we hop into the server, let's go and check things out one by one, I guess. Um, everything, or well, most of the things, are situated over by the farm, so it'd be pretty easy to check this out. Um, yeah, it's be interesting. So partner with, with Phillips. It's kind of cool, I guess. Um, I think, I think, yeah, I know. All right, we've got four colors. So do I see four colors? I do. I do see four colors here. Like, look at these red trees. Hey, look at this. And I believe we've got like trees with no leaves on to indicate trees with no leaves on. So, now let's head over to, um, yeah, let's go. We'll go in a nice SUV, actually, because uh, there may be some rough terrain along the way. By the way, I will be streaming this week. Um, if you are on my stream today, then you'd know it kind of crashed. Um, but yeah, this weekend, I'll get it all fixed, and uh, we'll have a good stream, and complete the scavenger hunt live. So yeah, that'll be cool. And by the way, the uh, locations are probably different for everyone else, so yeah. Anyways, first things first, we're heading over to the caves. And the main thing I'm doing, no, the main reason I'm doing this is because they said that I'd be updating soon, and um, they still say, oh, is that new? I feel like that's new. And so, Halloween colours have fallen around the map. It's actually looking pretty nice. And you can send people to jail now with the new jail and then the player name. So, that's quite nice. Uh, so, anyways, Halloween colours are falling around here. Very, very cool. If we head over here to the farm. Uh, where is this? It's over here, right? It's over here. Is it going to magically load in? Yes. My game freezing for a second there, but it's loaded in. This is so cool. So, we've got barns, pumpkins, and a maze. I like this. I really like this. It's cool decoration, actually. So, pumpkin patch, Liberty County, pumpkin patch, and corn maze. So, this is kind of what they were teasing about before, which is really cool. And we thought this was a barn, but no, it's not. We've got, like, a vehicle over here. This is cool. This is cool. So, you can put your head through here, become, like, a pumpkin. Ah, oh, it's nice. And we've got, like, a massive fort of pumpkins, or pumpkins and, like, whatever that could be. 2020 Halloween clothing. Hey, nice. We've got some more clothing. I really do like this, actually. Really cool building. Oh my gosh, Jelly, no joke, you scared me. Hey, we've got a tractor with a trailer in game. Possible teaser? Maybe, maybe not. Uh, but pretty cool to see, actually. They've got a really nice trailer modelled for this. Um, and then we've got the pumpkin patch. Oh, look, we can come and sit down and there you go, share, our, share ourselves a little, little screenshot. Look at that, amazing. Anyways, so, uh, there's a maze there. There is a maze there. Oh, no, I'm I'm bad at mazes. Oh, look at this, pumpkin patch and gift shop. Yeah, pizza place. We did the maze and uh, work at a pizza place. I'm terrible at it. Anyways, you can work here, I believe. So, if I go and hop inside of here, I can actually work here. Uh, where do I work? Oh, yeah, start job. Got it. All right, anyone want a pie? Anyone want a pie? Would you like a pie, Jelly? Would you like a pie? We'll get you a pie. We'll give you a pie. Would you like a pie? All right, there you go. You're, you're going to take a pie. We'll go and click on it. There you go. And Jelly now has a pie. You'd like a pie, Ollie? All right. We're going, we're going to give you a pie there. I really like this, actually. I'm really happy with the new location for Halloween. And, oh, so we got an easy entrance. I'm going to choose a tiny bit. So we've got an easy entrance. Where's the end? Is the end over here? Wait, I'm, I'm confused. Oh, yeah, you have to find... All right, all right. So there's an easy one, which I believe X is here. And there's a harder one which probably exits there as well. All right, I'll probably attempt this on stream um, because I think that'll be fun. Oh yeah, you can't zoom out. So I guess you could take a screenshot from the top of the map, but that was kind of cheating. Um, anyways, we'll probably try this on stream. So make sure to subscribe and join. And uh, yeah, we're probably going to get lost in here. 
But stay up to date, we've got really, really cool, I can tell you, we're doing a Halloween movie this year. Something I haven't done last two years, but we're doing this year, so very, very excited. And, um, alright, now we actually need to head over to the barber shop. So, uh, we've got a maze there, which will take me an hour to do if I do that right now. So, we're not going to do it right now, but soon, soon we'll do the, soon we'll do the maze. So, let's head over to Springfield, and at Springfield, hopefully, there should be a, apparently, the par partnered up with Phillips, uh, who do razors. Uh, so, yeah, we have to find razors around the map. Also, that's good, because if, if they modelled razors, then maybe that they could easily implement that into the game as a tool. So, let's head over to the barbershop. Over here now. There we go. Hello, hello. Hello, Jelly. Oh, look at this. Yeah, Phillips uh, Norilco. An event by Phillips Norilco. Tap here to teleport to Shavetopia Hub. What is going on? Oh, look, they, they've got them all modelled nicely. And we've got an NPC. Hello. I seem to have lost a few of my tools from the barbershop. Do you? Yes, I can. There are 10 Phillips. All right, so 10 Phillips razors scattered around the map. All right. Yes, uh, I seem to have lost a few of my tools. All right. Uh, okay. Oh, it's it's stuck in the loop. That may be a bug. But anyways, um, there are razors here. I wonder... Okay. I wonder if they, these could actually be a tool in the future. Sit in the chairs. Oh my gosh, that's cool. That's so cool. You can actually edit your hair. Get a clean shave. All right, I want to get a moustache. That is so cool. We've been asking for this and they actually did it. All right, we'll get ourselves a black moustache. Oh my gosh, that's kind of cool. That's kind of cool. So it actually has a purpose now. And then we can go into selfie mode. Use it. Oh, that's actually pretty cool. I didn't even notice that. That's so cool. How do you get these razors, by the way? Jelly. Jelly. Fancy. Is it a job? Oh yeah, it's a job. I forgot about that. I honestly forgot about that. That's cool. So if we quit job and then start job. Got it. Um, I've got my, <laughs> my moustache, by the way. Can we collect a raise? Oh, we've got a raise right now. Inventory. Look at that. Ollie. Ollie. Oh, wow. You've gone for a... Whoa, that's a big moustache. Alright, that's actually kind of cool. I didn't even notice that. That's nice. Alright, anyways. We're going to have a look at the devlogs real quick and see what they added. So private server admins can now unadmin people with a user's ID. They added keybinds to the street sweeper. Uh, okay, that's cool, I guess. Increased stop steam, stop stick limit. Uh, ladders no longer collide with vehicles, so you can't really lift them into the air. Hazmat calls can now be spawned in public servers if someone has the fire team game pass. Improved chat spam cooldown. Fix major calls. All right. Really nice. And then lots more on their uh, Trello as well. I really like this uh, update with the hair <laughs> customization. And I feel like they... Oh, there's so many options as well. I feel like they're going to improve this over the future. This is so, so cool. I can get, a, like, a massive beard as well. I, oh my, that's cool. I really like that. I really like that. Nice update. And uh, we get, to, I believe that's going to teleport me to another game. Um, anyways, so thank you all. Thank you all for watching. Hope you did enjoy. And uh, stay tuned. Make sure to subscribe to the channel. Lots of really cool videos coming out. And we've still got two parts of the Halloween update yet to come. Stay tuned, and I'll see you in the next one.